YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja. If you follow me on social media, then you would know that last week I was in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. And I was actually there to check out the Smart EQ42. I spent a lot of time with the team, the car, and all the extra activities that were at South by Southwest. And a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video, but all opinions and experiences are my own. Let's take a look at what I found. So for those who don't know the brand Smart, Here's a little bit of history. Smart started in the early 70s when a Mercedes-Benz engineer was tapped to explore the idea of a city car. Over the past few decades, they went through dozens of changes and painstaking modifications, and in 1994, the first car was developed. And since then, each generation has seen some significant changes to what we see in front of us today. This is the Smart EQ42. It's 100% electric and a whole lot of fun to drive. And I had the opportunity to drive this car during my time in Austin. I was zipping around town, checking out all the activities and getting some good food to eat. I had a chance to get a feel for the car. I had a chance to sit in the car, smell the car and be a part of the car. So let's begin with the elephant in the room. Yes, the car is small. And at first glance, I didn't think I'd be able to fit into the car, but I was able to get into the car and it was actually comfortable. And I'm not a small guy neither. Inside the car is a lot more space than what it actually seems from the outside. So the very first thing I noticed when turning the car on is that you don't hear anything. Yeah, it's an electric car, it's a battery car, but if you haven't driven one before, it's sort of a surreal feeling as you, you know, you turn the car on, you expect this loud engine combustion sound and you hear nothing. You just hear a couple beeps and the car is on. And also the next thing you notice is the tight turn radius. Since the car is small, you'll be able to really get into turns and I was able to get out of a parking spot that was pretty tight just by cutting the wheel. And since the car is electric, there is no delay. You tap the pedal and you're going full thrust, full speed. And this car does have some pickup. It's not going to win any drag races, but off the line compared to a lot of gas cars, it picks up very fast. On the dash, it gives you a color rating depending on how you drive. So there's green for good, yellow for all right, and red means you're just smashing on the accelerator. And this is how you know estimated battery life you're gonna get with your car. And also when you start to brake, the line starts to point back towards the car on, on your little dash. And what that means is that you're regenerating some power back to the battery. I really don't know exactly how it works 100%, but you can definitely feel it and you can actually see it on the screen. So inside the car, you do have what I just mentioned. That's a 3.5 inch color display. You also have a rear view camera, which is actually in the mirror. A Bluetooth connection for your phone, so listen to your music and all that stuff, and a lot of other items that I didn't have a chance to dive into. The all leather upholstery is clean with nice detailed stitching, and it's just a nice blend between plastics and leather, and it's actually a very nice interior. So overall, when you combine the being able to go in and out of traffic, and that very quick acceleration, and that sharp turn radius, it just becomes very fun to drive. And to me, electric cars are definitely the future. I know the next car I purchase is going to be electric. So it's just fun to actually finally get a chance to drive one because it's very, very fun. And you really don't miss the smell of gas and that thrust you when you hit the gas pedal and hearing it. For me, that's a non-starter. I just like the quietness of electric and also that instant acceleration. So while I was there, I actually had the opportunity to check out a few more things. Smart was all over the city with tons of different activations and I had a chance to check them all out. So their main attraction was the Flying Smart EQ42. It was a big production equipped with a drumline band and also a tricked out JBL edition of the Smart 4.2. This was kicking out some loud music and the drum line had a performance that was in sync with the music. And then the car launches off the ground in cue. It was definitely a cool sight to see. And then later that night, it was a smart mobile disco. This is a smart EQ42 that had a crane attached to it, lifting DJ Edelbrook into the sky while he sings and spin tunes. Now I was unable to see the performance because I actually had a fly back out of town that night. But from what I saw on social media, it looked really fun, but I was sort of bummed that I had to miss it. I think for me overall, this whole show was just telling me that Smart is just a fun company trying to do new things and reaching new people. Smart is a brand of Daimler AG and they're always trying to innovate. Quick question for you, I'm just wondering, the future of flying cars, what do you what do you think about it? How do you see it happening? What are you, what are you envisioning? I think it's inevitable. Flying taxis, you know, you call it with your smartphone, comes to your house, takes you, 
skips all the traffic. 50 miles in, an, in 10 minutes, that's the future, baby. <laughs> So this is Guy Kawasaki. He's actually a brand ambassador for Mercedes. And after seeing the flying car show, I had to ask him a couple questions about flying cars. And I guess uh, for Daimler, like what, what are the next steps to actually get there? How, how, do, how, do, we, how do we go from where we're at from today to, to there? <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you know, you need battery, <laughs> you need lighter materials. What else do you need? Uh, you need FAA approval. Besides that, how hard could it be? Uh, I trust Mercedes-Benz AI more than I trust most drivers. Smart is a brand that innovates. I'm not saying they're building a flying vehicle tomorrow, but if Guy Kawasaki thinks it's very possible, then I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing one sooner than later. And another fact, they were the first to production an electric car that was convertible, which right there in itself is showing they're willing to try these new things. Anyways guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja here and thank you so much for Smart for sponsoring me to come out to Austin, Texas and check out South by Southwest and also spend some time with the Smart EQ 4.2. Anyways guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja here. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.